So check this out. This is actually something that I've been wanting to talk about. This is J.K. Rowling and her tattoo. Pay attention to her tattoo that it's written on her arm. And pay attention to the article and why she would never get a Harry Potter tattoo on her arm because she thinks it's ridiculous. This is the same person years ago, way back in the early 2000s, who people said Harry Potter was satanic. But I'm about to show you something that will actually blow you away since I can now officially make these connections. Her tattoo says exactly what is written on Baphomet on his arms, written on her arm. So everybody that has said that said years ago that Harry Potter was satanic. They were right because she officially showed that she actually is into the occult. Harry Potter also, by the way, is also inspired by this famous well-known author. So check this out. This is Harry Potter on the right and on the left. You're probably saying, wow, that looks very similar. Exactly, because that's written by Neil Gaiman who is the author of Coraline, American Gods, and he's also the author of the Books of Magic and Sandman in DC Comics. The difference between Harry Potter and the Books of Magic is that in the Books of Magic, Neil Gaiman wrote that strictly for the DC Universe, and it's I think it has its own universe in DC Comics. Whereas Harry Potter, obviously you can see it's its own genre, its own thing, and whatnot. But also check this out. This is also proof that this character literally is Harry Potter in the DC Universe. And the difference between this character and Harry Potter is that Harry Potter, all throughout the books, uh, the books of magic, he actually ages. Also, check this out. In the Sandman series, these are the entities that are in Sandman. And they are supposed to be shown in the Sandman live action series that's, that it's going to be played on Netflix. But also... I'm going to actually show you the trailer. Not the trailer, but the poster for it. This is the poster for Netflix, The Sandman. And as you can see, the one-eyed symbolism and the raven is actually comic book accurate, uh, loyal to the source material. But these two authors are, are also responsible for, um, call, are mainly responsible for calling uh, fans, ist phobes, bigots on Twitter. And they're also responsible for cancel culture. Well, mainly J.K. Rowling. But... This is who they, <laughs> and also in the trailer, they could, they do a satanic ritual, which is comic book accurate to the source material, so they're not just making that up, and this is actually an entity that they're summoning, so just wanted to put that out there, and the comparisons between J.K. Rowling and Neil Gaiman, so hope you enjoyed this video.